text you eating. You said that was tomorrow's lunch. I know, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Let's Cook That. I know we haven't put up a video for a while, but I was very sick, but I feel better, so we're back at it. So today, I'm gonna do some chili beans because I actually been craving chili beans. And I went to the store and I found the chili mustache. So I wanna try doing it with this, which is a little bit healthier. It would've been healthier if I used turkey, but I'm not using turkey today. I'm gonna use ground beef. So the, our ingredients will be, of course, our packet of our, of our chili um, mix thing. <laughs> I have one pound of ground beef. I have paprika and black pepper just because I love it and I add, like to add it to a lot of my foods. And then I have one can of the diced tomato. And then I have one cup of the pinto beans. And then I have a one cup and a half of the red kidney beans. And I have also one garlic, which I minced, some onion, a jalapeno, because I like spicy, and some fresh cut tomato. Okay, so I have a, my pot here ready preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna start off with our onions and our jalapenos. I like to saute a little bit. So it's been like a minute or two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add our garlic and our fresh tomatoes. And we'll go ahead and let this saute for a little bit so our tomatoes can bring out all the juice. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our beef to brown it. So we'll let it get brown to do the next step. So now that our um, beef is brown, we're gonna go ahead and throw in all of our ingredients. Throw in our pinto beans, red kidney beans, our can of tomato, and we're gonna throw in this chili powder that we have here. Mm, it smells good, so hopefully it'll be very yummy. It's my first time using this, you guys, because usually, you know, homemade is always better, but I wanted to try it. So I said, oh, I'm going to share with the channel on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is add half a cup of water. Let me try it for flavoring. Mmm, tastes really good. But for me, I'm gonna add some more paprika. Some black pepper, some black pepper. It's not coming out, is it? I see it in there, but I don't see it coming up. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, stir it. Okay. We know it's with no salt, it's no sodium in here. But for me, I think I'm going to add a tomato sauce in there which usually you should add a tomato sauce, but I thought with um, the diced tomatoes and the fresh tomato would be okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a tomato sauce. Hey guys. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but for me, it needs salt. Of course, the seasoning that I put, it's with no sodium which is very healthy, but I need the salt so I could give it flavor. So instead of putting salt, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, um, the beef, not, I was gonna say chicken bruhim, but it's the beef kind, okay? I'm gonna put consomme de pollo, de hoy, de pollo tío terca. I'm gonna put the consomme de res. So it's gonna be the beef kind so it could give it more flavor. Let's see how this turns out. Remember I said it's my first time doing it? So maybe it's better from scratch. Let's do one tablespoon. 
Let me try this again. Mmm, it's changing the flavor. Let's put an another one. We can't throw this away, you guys. We have to eat it. So we need to be creative and make it taste good. Mmm, I think it's perfect. Oh, now I like it. I mean, I did like it, but now I very I like it a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to um, medium low. We're gonna go ahead and cover it, and we're gonna go ahead and let this simmer for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll check out. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and this looks ready. It looks yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And now let's serve it on the plate. Now, here's the fun part. Let's add some cheese on it. Can't have chili without cheese. And how about some onion? Now, let's let it, let it cool down a little bit because it's very hot. So, because I don't want to burn myself. But anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. One more time, like I said, I wanted to do it healthy and I ended up putting that consomme de res. So it has a, the salt, the sodium, which I wanted to try to do without sodium, which is, it was good. It was good. If you don't like salt or don't like salt too much, it's good. Don't take it wrong. It's good, but I like it with a little bit of more salt. So I went ahead and did it. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe, you guys, if you haven't done so. And let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. It's still very hot, but oh my god, it's good. Who would tell you guys? It's very good. This is tomorrow's lunch because it's a little late today, but you know what? I like it. It's good. So thank you for watching one more time and see you next time on Let's Cook That.